COVID has been challenging for many reasons. Now there are new challenges for the state to try and figure out. As cases continue to go down, Colorado is beginning to talk about the next steps, figuring out the endemic response to COVID-19. An endemic just means that it's with us. For nearly two years, we've listened in on crowded Zoom calls as state health leaders tell us about what the future of the pandemic looks like. Scott Bookman has been leading the state in its response. Now they're figuring out what comes next after acknowledging the virus will always be with us. We are looking at you know short term and longer term scenarios uh, and starting to do some planning around how do you live with this virus. Health leaders predict that COVID will eventually become an endemic in Colorado. In part, that means that hospitals and doctors will respond to it much the same the way they do to other viruses like the flu. It'll also become more predictable. COVID will still be here in the background, though life will hopefully look pretty normal. We see uh, a great desire uh, amongst everyone. To, to move forward. Over the coming weeks, we'll see fewer masks as the mandates go away. They might come back somewhere in the future. What we're going to see most likely is, is new variants come up. Uh, we'll see additional waves, uh, you know, hit our state, our country, the world. Uh, and we need to be prepared for any number of, of different scenarios. A lot of the technology created during the pandemic will still be used. Testing wastewater for the virus and new variants will prove vital. That's according to state epidemiologist Rachel Herlihy. It's also been incredibly useful for us in understanding the emergence of new variants and looking for those variants and where they might be occurring first in the state. There's no timeline set in stone for when the state will switch from a pandemic response to an endemic response. Regardless, one thing is clear. COVID is here to stay. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.